Hello, this is Daniel Plays, and my name is Daniel, and welcome to yet another Minecraft video that has been requested by you guys. Are you also tired of playing Minecraft with only 20 FPS? Are you also tired of Minecraft lagging so bad that you just crash out of the game? Then this is the right video for you. Because today we are going to be taking a look at how to speed up Minecraft and how to gain FPS in Minecraft. So I am actually planning on making multiple videos on this subject because you guys ask me a lot of questions about this and you guys really, really seem to be very curious for how to get more FPS in Minecraft without really having to do anything um, about your computer or your laptop. You know, because that's essentially what we're talking about. You want bet more FPS, but you want it to be free. You don't want to have to get a new laptop or a new computer or new components. You just want to get better FPS with the components that you have. Alright, so let's get straight into the first video then. So this first video is pretty much going to be the foundation for better FPS in Minecraft. I'm going to show you how to install an application or a mod, it's just whatever way you want to look at it, that will automatically improve your in-game experience and automatically somewhat improve your FPS. It'll give you a ton more options, things that you can customize, things you can disable, such as the water animations, the lava animations. Another really cool thing that it allows you to do is to manage every graphic setting individually, so you can set the clouds to 3D, but the leaves to fast graphics and none of it will interfere and everything can be set separately. So here's how to install Optifine. In order to install Optifine is actually really really easy to do. All you gotta do is open your web browser, it can be Chrome, Firefox, whatever you prefer, and then just search for Optifine in Google or go to Optifine.net. I'm gonna just select this one right here. There we go, this is Optifine.net and we wanna go to Optifine.net slash downloads. So it's this downloads tab here. Now currently the latest version is 1.12.2, but if you're watching this anywhere in the future and 1.13 or maybe even later versions have already been uh, released, then obviously select the latest version of Optifine 2. So all you gotta do is click download on this and you will be guided to this add fly link, um, but all you gotta do is wait for a second or five, then click skip add and if I'm right, you should be redirected to a download page. So from this download page, just click this link here. Don't click the ads, just click this link and um, Optifine will start to download. Okay, you'll get an advertisement, which is completely what I expected. And then you click keep on this thing. And all we gotta do now is click it. What will happen is that Optifine will open an installer and all you gotta do now is click install here. Now I already have installed Optifine so this is probably not gonna work but just click install it will take like two seconds even on slow PCs and afterwards you'll be able to run Minecraft with the new Optifine profile. So now all you gotta do is load up your Minecraft launcher, um, go down here but don't click play yet. First you wanna go and click here on this little arrow that will give you a drop down or actually drop up menu and you want to look for Optifine that actually says 1.12.2 or the latest version the, or the version that you want to use Optifine with. So I'm going to click this and as you may be able to tell um, the text here just changed to the Optifine profile and if I now were to click play we will launch into Minecraft 1.12.2 with Optifine. So let's see what we can do with Optifine. So first things first, we wanna check if we're actually running Optifine right now. It used to be a lot easier to tell, it would just be right here instead of where Minecraft 1.12.2 is. It used to say Optifine, at least that's what I remember. But now all we gotta do to check if we're actually running Optifine is go into options, go into video settings, and then here, down at the bottom will be Optifine HD C9 Ultra. All of that is not really important as long as it's just a Optifine version. 
So now we can actually hop into a world and see what Optifine can do for us. So here we are again, just where I left off in vanilla Minecraft, now we are running Optifine and your FPS should already be a little bit better. Maybe not at the specific point where you actually stop playing Minecraft without Optifine, but try and run around, try and explore some more and see if you still get those huge lag peaks, those huge FPS drops, those should be gone for at least 50% of the time now. Really. Optifine should speed up and spread out all of the load on your components so that there's never 100% load on your entire laptop or computer, but always like 80. So it never really has to do more than it actually can do. So in the next episode, we are going to be taking a look at video settings that can um, increase your FPS dramatically. Obviously, there's some obvious things, but there's also things that you may or may not know about. And we are also going to be taking a look at those. And, um, yeah, I'm going to catch you in that episode. If you actually enjoyed this one and are curious for the second episode, make sure to hit that thumbs up. I would really appreciate because I also put some time into these videos whilst I can already run Minecraft with a normal FPS myself. This is all for you guys. This is, <laughs> this is complete dedication. <laughs> okay, this is starting to get a little little over the top but anyway if you like this video make sure to hit that thumbs up and let me know what you want me to discuss in the second video or whether you like this video and without further ado i will as always catch you in the next one see ya